The range of the Corsa E is 205 miles and we can charge it very quick with a DC charger with maximum 100 kilowatt. And then uh, you can load or charge 80% uh, of the battery within 30 minutes. The Corsa E has zero gram CO2 emission and uh, uh, that's very good for the environment, um, but also it offers a lot of fun to drive. Yeah, so uh, you have a maximum torque of 260 newton meter and a horsepower of 136. And uh, the good thing is that this torque is directly available uh, when you uh, roll the, or start to roll the car. So you have a lot of fun to drive, uh, which means a very good accelerations uh, going from zero to 31 miles per hour in 2.8 seconds. So at the traffic light, you are really one of the top water. Yeah. And uh, for zero to 62 miles per hour, it's 8.1 seconds, which is also an excellent value. Also, the top speed is no issue. Uh, the car is going 93 miles per hour, which is significantly higher than the maximum allowed speed on the motorway. And uh, you can reach this top speed in all three drive modes, in the Eco, Normal and in the Sport mode. And uh, so you don't have to worry at all. So I hope that the people reaction driving the Corsa E the first time is that they are amazed and impressed by the vehicle. Uh, because ourselves, we are also proud of the car. So it offers a lot of fun to drive um, with a good uh, economic and efficiency. Yeah, it's a vehicle which you can use for daily use. So it's very practical and uh, there are no compromises in the vehicle. And it is not by accident that our first pure electric model of the new generation is a Corsa, our most popular nameplate one of the most popular nameplates in the entire Europe. Since 1982, Opel sold 13.6 million Corsas. Over five generations, making millions and millions of people mobile and happy. Who has never driven a Corsa? Who has no personal memory related to a Corsa? From what I could see, people were so eager to know what our new generation Corsa would look like that they started spreading our official pictures even before we wanted to do so. Wow, this was not so comfortable at the beginning. But let's be honest, reading all the comments about the design of our new Corsa made it much more comfortable for us. These are really fantastic, delightful comments. Before anyone has seen the car in flesh, so now comes the moment. I am very, very proud to present to you today our new generation Opel Corsa, the sixth generation Corsa. And I'm even prouder to present it as a pure electric car way before we talk about its more traditional powered versions. The new Corsa is electric. It comes with superior technology and with a terrific design. When it came in there, one of the first reactions I get from people when they see it for the first time is, isn't it much bigger than today's car? Well, the answer to that is, no, it isn't. Because the footprint, be it the length and the width, is almost the same as today's car. It's fractionally longer. In fact, it's fractionally narrower than today's car, but it's all about the optical illusion that we've created with the design. And some of the typical features that you see on all Opals, whether it's the front and the rear, is our wing signature lighting. Across all of our cars, we intend to develop that further as we go into the next generation of vehicles. But what we've done on this vehicle is everything, again, is very slim and high-tech. This car really emphasizes the shoulders, again, giving the car a really terrific stance, making it look like a driver's car. And So I have the great privilege today to introduce to you the all-new Corsa, the sixth generation Corsa. 
What makes this vehicle even more iconic and even more important for Opel is that this vehicle also is electric. Let me talk to you about some of the design details that we've worked very hard on to achieve all of the great values of the Opel brand. So first of all, coming to the front of the car, like all new Opals, we have this clear, crisp centerline crease and this very landscape orientation of the design. So the grille is very horizontal and that flows into the typical wing signature lights that we have on all of our vehicles. This particular vehicle shows a very slim, high-tech headlamp and again, makes the car look very sporty and dynamic, which is very important for all Opel vehicles. So as you can see, when the car turns around here, one of the most important elements is that this vehicle looks a lot bigger than today's car. It looks lower, it looks wider, it looks longer. In fact, the overall footprint of this car is the same as today's car. So it's all about the optics of the car, creating this very sporty, dynamic character. And that's accentuated on this vehicle with this floating roof. So you really squeeze the graphics of the car, making it look very sleek and modern, almost like a three-door car, even though it's a very practical five-door car. And one of the other areas that we've really developed on this vehicle are these beautiful, strong, flowing sculptural shapes that hark back to some of the historical elements of Corsa. The flared wheel arches, giving it this very muscular character and again enhancing the sporty dynamic character of the vehicle overall. So one thing that's very important for us is to show that our electric car is a dynamic fun car. And part of that is showing it in this very confident orange color, something that we really think conveys everything about what this electric Corsa is. So at the rear of the car, we continue these same great proportional benefits, which is having a very wide look to the car, very muscular shoulders, again, really emphasizing this great driving dynamic quality that the car has. And again, it has all the usual signature cues of Opel with the wing signature lights, these very slim looking towel lamps. And as I said, a very clean, bold, and pure surface execution.